Dastrio writes, I've heard you and other English speaking musicians refer to the root of a key or the one as the do. This being a Spanish speaking music student confuses me because I've only ever thought that do is what you call C. Why is this so? Do you call the second note of a scale re? And generally, what is the origin of note names, both as do, re, mi, etc., and C, D, E, etc.? I've also heard that people call do ut in some European countries, I think. And finally, why is do C and not A? Both C Ionian and A Aeolian have no altered notes, but why start alphabetically on the minor key rather than the major, or any other mode for that matter? So there are really two systems of naming notes. The one used by English speaking and German countries is derived from something called Boethian notation that comes from this guy, Boethius. He basically assigned the lowest note that a man could sing as A, and then just kind of went up from there. So that's a little bit of a simplistic description. Not all male vocal types bottom out around an A, but basically all you need to know is that Boethian notation starts on A and then just kind of goes up from there. The other system is generally used by Romance languages and it's called solfeggio. You can thank this guy for that, Guido d'Arezzo. He assigns different notes to different syllables of different lines from the Latin hymn Unt Quint Laxus. This is why certain languages still use ut instead of do, although generally it's been changed because ut is a closed syllable that ends on a consonant and do is an open syllable that ends in a vowel, so it's a little bit easier to sing. Don't break me for so flaunty. The history of naming musical notes is a fascinating one, so definitely check out Twelve Tones' video on this very subject. And also check out this one, Solmization in the Guidonian Hand from Early Music Sources. It's a criminally undersubscribed channel. Definitely go subscribe to them. Anyway, what makes this confusing is that English-speaking musicians will still use solfeggio except for a different purpose other than naming notes. We'll use it as a form of what's called solmization, the practice of assigning different syllables to different musical scale degrees. This is something that we call movable do, and it's immensely useful useful for ear training and sight singing. We contrast that with fixed do, which is the practice of using solfege for naming notes. The reason why we use movable do is because letter names are not ideal for singing for a number of reasons. One, there is the closed syllable of F. It ends in a consonant the same way that ut does, so it probably is not ideal for singing purposes. Two, the letter name A is a diphthong, A E. A. It's the combination of two vowel sounds, so sometimes that might be not ideal. And three, all of the vowel sounds, with the exception of F, end in E. A, B, C, D, E, G. With solfege, you have different pure vowel sounds on open syllables. Different vowel sounds have different harmonic content, so in theory, it's a little bit easier to hear when you're ear training. In other words, it's better for solmization. C, D, E. F, G, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. So the problem here comes when you use solfeggio as a form of solmization, when you have people who studied music in Romance languages now studying music in English. It is really confusing. If you're an English speaker, imagine using the letter naming system as a form of solmization in another language. What would that sound like? In the key of A flat, what note is F? Well, in the key of A flat, D flat is F, but in the key of D flat, F is in fact E. Now in the key of E, B is G, but in the key of G, B is E. This sounds ridiculous, but this is the exact same sort of mental gymnastics that's required when you come from a language that doesn't use solfeggio the same way that English does. When I was at Berkeley, I taught as a tutor in the Learning Center, and part of my job was getting people acclimated to the idea of movable dough. This was incredibly frustrating to a large portion of the student body who originally learned to play music in, say, Spanish. Berkeley saw them as being less talented and skilled in music than they were because they were having trouble with the movable dough system. And so whenever I see this debate about movable dough versus fixed dough on the internet, just keep in mind which language you're talking about, because in English, if you're coming from another language, it can be quite tricky. 